There's just no queen like a vegan queen. Well, hello, my darlings. We tricked you. We said it might be a month before there's another episode. No, it's two weeks. I love, I'm Gemini. And I'm Miasma. And together, we're the vegan queens. I'm kind of copying a bit off those vegan guys there, aren't I? They said that at the beginning. I don't, I don't mind. mind. I like them. They're nice boys. Yeah. They are. They've been good to us. Very good. Oh, do you know, know what actually? Did? I saw a very good um, debate that um, I won't say too much about it. The question it raises is should all children be raised vegan? I'll link it up there. It was a, a vlog by Paul, but the, the context and the backstory of how it came about and why it came about and the question it raised, very interesting. But we're not right. here to talk about the bloody vegan, those vegan guys. And we're not here to talk about the library is open either with its new session no. book club, all reading a thriller oh, yeah. and then coming back and having a chat about it. Is there a vlog? I think there is, you know. Why don't we see if there is? And if there is, it'll be there. I'll link it right up there, you know, just for a laugh. Why uh, not? But we're here to talk about, one, our new hairdos. <gasps> two, yeah. our new fabulous world. outfits. Three, current affairs. That's so not you're looking beautiful. Reasons. You're looking Thanks, beautiful, love. my asthma. I'm a do I you. adore that hair. Thanks, love. As I do yours. Let's say it together, shall we? New er docker. <laughs> Can we try that again? Yeah. New er docker. <laughs> we sound like we're on a lag, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, we're a bit, uh, we're, we're both a bit spring-like, which is marvellous. Yeah. Um, because, of course, spring is here. Spring is upon us. And soon, my darling, spring. it will be summer. I oh, can't wait, mate. I need these longer days of sunlight. And me. I'm Do you so, know what I mean? Oh, I'm so much better in the summer, my asthma. Oh. Same. So, so much better in the summer. I think, I think a lot of people are, I think, sad. Yeah. Um, seasonal, seasonal, effective, I think, effective disorder is a lot mm -hmm. more common than is uh, discussed yeah. in the world. I do. I think I it's mean, a it really, sense. I think it's a really, really common thing. Um, no, I agree. And yet you've got you've got people. Um, I watched this lovely girl called Cecilia. <clears throat> on um on the youtube and she lives in svalbard have you ever heard of it is that is that sweden or yes but it's an arpeggio are they called like okay. it's it's kind of on map right i'm looking at the map it's britain it's sweden it's up here it's a group of islands it's where oh. it's where my asthma one of the seed banks is one of the world oh. seed banks. <laughs> but she lives there and it's always oh, a lovely place. I'm so glad she's um she shows you so much of it and she uses beautiful drone footage and everything. So it's a gorgeous place. Absolutely gorgeous. Awesome. But there they go for months with no not even daylight. Oh no. No, 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 no. But she's really happy, so that's what I'm saying. Some people it fits. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if you adapt to it. You know, like we're all dead adaptable as people. We are. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like a sort of sped up mini ev evolution. Like if you're born there, you're just used to it. That'll be it, won't you it? Know, <clears throat> that'll be it, won't it? Science, come for the drag, stay for the science. Anyway, my asthma, we've had some, uh, we've had some um, losses in this last week. And we have. Uh, I would like to talk about the one that is more significant and important to me personally and that would be the lovely Nikki Graham uh, of uh, Big Brother fame who um, after suffering with anorexia for so many years uh, lost the battle. Yeah, it's um, really sad. Really it's sad. really sad and it's sad because I mean, here we are now, chatting our bloody heads off. The world's full of it. YouTube, TikTok, Nick Nat, wherever else there is out there. You know, I'm folk right, yeah. to, folk telling the stories and sharing the... Well, Nikki were one of the first to be 
massively open about her um, eating disorder mm -hmm. and her mental health in general. Her, mm -hmm. uh, de her depression, her anxiety, how that all linked in with the anorexia she suffered from. Um, and at the time, I think it was probably frowned upon a little bit. Uh, mm. But, you know, here we all are now sharing our lives, aren't we? And it's, uh, it's fashionable. Um, it is. It is. And, you know, I think where it really goes to show is that, you know, it's, it's a very insidious illness, isn't it? In the, sen in the same way that alcoholism is, or other forms of addiction, or other mental health issues, in the sense that, you know, they have such far and wide-reaching consequences you know and they can literally go on and, and it, it is the very definition of just because somebody looks like they're doing all right it doesn't necessarily mean everything's all right under the surface you know yeah i mean i remember yeah. nikki going absolutely ballistic in the diary room uh because um that fat ox <laughs> i can't remember his name even had eaten all the cereal and everyone was like oh God, she's such. She's so whiny. She's so spoiled, and that was a manifestation of her anorexia. Uh, what she ate was hugely important to her, and cereal with skimmed milk was a safe bet. So when there wasn't any, so it wasn't that she was a whiny, spoiled bitch. It's that she was dealing with anorexia. And Absolutely. she was trying Absolutely. to feed her body because she knew she had to. Mm. What a shame, it to what a shame, it's my such asthma. A shame. It's a real loss, it's a real, real loss, I think, um, for the people of the world like you and me and others. And I think, you know, it, just, it as well goes to show that what you've just said as well that actually contrary to popular belief we create the world in our image don't we yeah you know what i mean so what might to some others on the outside be like oh that's ridiculous that what's she on about she's just being a cow it, it we all have our own very particular cultures that are based on our experiences don't we and she would just that would just as you say a manifestation of nikki her was just nikki nikki was beautifully yeah. raw and unfiltered and yeah. um <coughs> and harsh and real yeah and sometimes cutting and abrasive and all of these wonderful human qualities i think i agree that when you allow yourself that kind of freedom of of, of expression mm. you know um and yeah like i said anything that she was looked at negatively for was a manifestation mm. of her mental health conditions or her eating disorder but she was a lovely sweet intelligent caring bright girl and Thank 38 you. is no age absolutely no age at all it's really but sad it is and uh we, i suppose we should mention the other seemingly significant death dmx yeah the rapper also passed it. No, I'm not messing. I think it's significant. He was like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a force no, in, no, in hip hop was, in the 90s. Yeah, I yeah, was, yeah. I, I was being uh, terribly British and talking about uh, what was he even called? Oh, Philip. Oh, him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. him, she says. <laughs> no, well, I was a bit annoyed, to be mm. honest, uh, my asthma. Um, Go on. Every. It, for, pe for the people that it mattered to a great deal, dedicate a channel, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't force it upon the nation with the, he works really hard for so many years, that was his job. Mm -hmm. He was paid millions for it. Mm -hmm. He lived a life in extreme privilege for it. Mm -hmm. So let's not, you know, yeah, I think. And let's yeah. not gloss over. Let's not gloss over who he was and the things that he said that mm -hmm. could very well be labelled as out and out racism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with with privilege comes responsibility, doesn't it? Absolutely. And I don't think those responsibilities have always been picked up on. I'll leave it there. I won't say any more. Um, I, I think you're right. 
I think you're right. And I think what I object to is not the fact of marking someone's death, because of course it's very sad for the Queen and the royal family. Yeah, you know, I do feel bad for Liz, because I mean, you know, someone that's been in her life for uh, sort of 50 years, isn't it? More years than they should have been, yeah. Um, let's just say that. You can do your own research on that, viewers at home. But, um, for, but here's the thing, my asthma, for all we know, and I'm not being awful here, Liz might be happy. Maybe, you never know, you can't, we, we will in, never know, will we? She might be happy that he's not suffering anymore, that she doesn't have yeah. to watch him suffer anymore, and that she is uh, released from <clears throat> a certain burden. Yeah, and I think that's fair to say, and I don't think that's meant disparagingly at all. Well, nobody but, wants to see anyone they love suffer. No, it's heartbreaking. You know, I... I, Paul was in tears in here one night saying is it horrible that I want my dad to die as soon as possible and I said no not at all because you know it's suffering yeah this was right towards yeah. the end when he was in a lot of pain and very confused all the time mm. you know and it, it was a horrible Policy time yeah. and all you can do at a, a time like that is wish for release yeah Absolutely, absolutely. It just goes to show, doesn't it, though, that like, as a nation, and I think we're not the only nation, but I don't think we're yet at the stage where we deal with death very well, collectively. No. Um, in openness-wise, because what's, what's happened is, and like I said, no objection to people marking it. If he was important to you as a person, that's okay. You can do that. Absolutely. What I object to is being conscripted into this national mourning. There I'm you not go. in mourning. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not in mourning. And because I don't know him. Get this, my asthma. This bit tickled me. Um, go on, love. Channel 4, who didn't do what all the other media outlets do and saturate all of their programming with it, uh, yes. are now being lambasted. Oh, God. For it. And it's like... They were the only bit of release for people who weren't interested. Excuse me a minute. Oh, that's better. Be a brown flake, so. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, he, he, very sorry for Liz. I'm sure mm. he, that he did some wonderful things, but let's not uh, allow those wonderful things to gloss over the terrible things that he said. Um, and, um, if, if it matters to you, then our deepest condolences. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So that's that. What else do we have to talk about, my asthma? What else? Oh, can we talk about um, Dwight? I think, it's, is it Devon? Dwayne. Dwayne, right. I can't. Sorry, I'm. I, I, I no, I'm exactly the same. My asthma. I just know that another young black man has been shot in America, mm -hmm. and I know that the feeble excuse I thought I was tasing him. Surely they're in completely different compartments on your belt. Surely they feel completely different in the hand. Surely the taser is bright yellow and once it's in your hand, you can see either that you are holding a black gun or a yellow taser. Fuck off with your bullshit enabling of police officers killing unarmed black men who are shitting themselves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, you're right. I'm done with it, darling. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And the thing is, the police force generally, it, it it cannot be fixed from what it is now. It needs to be dismantled and rebuilt. Absolutely. No, absolutely. Because the, it, it there's really no does. reform now. It's gone too far. And I'll tell you yeah. something as well. This is a message to that officer. If you're talking about life and death, you better be fucking sure. Never mind, I thought I had my taser. You can't do Even that. if... Even if you're doing something against the law as well, and we all need to remember this globally, it does not give the police the right to kill you. No, no. They don't have the right irrespective of what and you, you can, do. You, you can break it down in levels, my yeah. asthma. You, you, you can even say, if, if the use of a gun is absolutely necessary because your life is at risk or other people are at risk and lives are at risk from a fleeing criminal 
the leg. Shoot the leg. Yeah. Non-lethal, yeah. disabling injury. And I'm sure that pe people could be trained to be, so that it would, would be disabling temporarily, but mm -hmm. minimally permanently damaging. Yeah. And if not, why not? And if you can't control your weapon, then you shouldn't have it. Absolutely. And then there's been this other story. Have you seen that one about the um, army officer who was pulled up? Um, <clears throat> he was clever. He was very clever. He had his uniform on and everything. He was pulled up um, and it, he, he, he put his light, lights on to let them know, yes, I'm pulling up. But he waited like just under a minute or just over a minute because he wanted to get into a gas station where it was really well lit. Mm -hmm. And then he was kind of putting his hands out of the car saying, yes, can you tell me why I'm uh, under? And they sprayed him and they got him on the floor and they blah, 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 blah. And there was nothing, nothing. And the main officer has, has been sacked and one, one has been put on administrative leave, apparently. But it's, a, it's an ongoing thing. See, the trouble I think with America, and please don't take this offensively, our American friends, because Britain <clears throat> is exactly the same in different ways. Yeah. There is a real, there is a real Americanism that's gone too far and it's too it's too embroidered labeled mm -hmm. encased in we are the biggest we are the best we are always right nothing beats us we're the best at everything everything's bigger here this this whole and that's i think where this where people don't question themselves where the police officer doesn't think that's my taser, isn't it? But just points it and then shoots someone. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Dead. Uh, yeah, Dead. Life gone. Life gone. Mm -hmm. Could have I been know. a future and Malcolm X. Could have been a future... Could have just been a future bin man, still significant. Yeah. Could have... You know, it doesn't matter. Could have lived a lot longer and now won't because... Um, because of the American police. Yeah. I'm so well, the police glad are not racist. I'm so glad that... Well, it's that's the biggest problem to face in America. You've got um, Tucker Carlson, who is one of the most repugnant, repulsive, vile creatures on Earth with a platform right now, as we speak. Yeah. He's pushing this old agenda of... Um, replacement he's telling his Fox News audience that the border situation is being relaxed in America because the Democratic Party wants as many non-white people in as possible to, con to ensure that they continue to win and it's about replacing the white people of America Tucker Carlson is saying this miasma right now every night on his show and he has the full support of the Fox Network behind him because there have been complaints and they've been overthrown so now now he's doubled down of course he would like a coward does yeah and it's being allowed yeah. though. It's being allowed because freedom of speech is so important to Americans that they'll accept hate incitement and label it as, as freedom of speech. And the two are very different. Inciting mm -hmm. hate and freedom of speech are not the same thing. There's a line. There's a there line. Is. You know, and we've said it before and we say it again, freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequence. Um, yeah, you can say whatever you want. It does not mean that anybody owes you a platform. It does not mean that anybody is not then allowed to act accordingly based on what you said. It does not mean that. And if you're going to you whittle that out as a defence, whittle, whittle, um, then, you know, again, you better be bloody sure. I am so sick of these 
cultural commentators and pundits and politicians as well, because that's where it stems from, playing like it's a game of Ludo. This is people's lives, like well, you said before, this is literally life and death. You see, Tucker Carlson streets. doesn't have to face any con consequences. He's a, He was born into wealth. He was born, uh, he, he, he's had a complete life of privilege. He's got security whenever he needs it. He's got a huge gated mansion. He doesn't need to worry mm. about the consequences well, of what should, he says. Maybe you should live in the world he sees fit to critique them. Absolutely. But he's, he's there every night on TV with a prime time show in America watched by millions who believe every word he says. He's just like the ones in this country. Oh, I've been silenced and the next thing you know, they're on a prime time TV show with a column in a national newspaper. Yeah, proper silent you, aren't you, love? Yeah. You know, like that absolute bell end fox who's now trying to run for mayor. It won't happen, don't worry, people of the UK. No one's going to vote for him. It's Sorry, darlings. She, she's from Rochdale. She means mayor. He's running Mur for oh, mayor. mayor. Not <laughs> mayor. <laughs> <laughs> He's running for mayor. Mayor, isn't that what they brought for Jesus? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, so apparently, uh, uh, looking at early poll figures, like on the on the initial sort of thing, is Sadiq Khan still in the lead, who is uh, represents Labour. Um, but there are an alarming number of EDL-like candidates. Um, there's actually somebody called Gammon. Not even kidding. There's actually somebody whose real surname is, it's either Gammon or Gammon or something like that. And I just thought, you said it all, love. As soon as we introduce you, we know exactly who you're going to be. Um, but yeah, you know, Lawrence Fox has such divorced dad energy. That's not a critique to all the nice divorced dads out there. But you know, he's the sort of person who posts a Facebook status like, she won't let me see the kids. I don't know why all I did was knock over an off license and impregnate a teenager. You know what I mean? Um, scum. Yeah. Oh, scum. absolutely. And the worst part about it is upper class privileged scum yeah. labelling anyone below his perceived mm. hierarchical place as yeah. scum. Yeah. That's the thing, in it? Privileged scum thinks it's cream because they both float to the top. Girl. You just said a cat and picking mouthful. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Plus, that were heavy, weren't it? That were heavy. It were heavy. But you know, we like a deep conversation in our uh, lol episodes because, you know, sometimes we say what folk are thinking but they don't know how it's a word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, we're, laid we're ladies a lot down, not loose women. Well. Oh, that, that bloody loose women that what she called in America. Megan oh. McCain. Oh. On on um the view. They all just look at her though like she's like insane, don't they, which she is. <laughs> so I'm we'll a couple of drag for me, fag. Me. I'm gonna do it as well. It's been a stressful year, like it, it has. How are you feeling about getting back to normal, my asthma? Are you I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit scared. I'm, I'm very I'm a wary scared. right now. Mm. I know that there was like a mile long queue outside Primark on Monday morning. There was, yes. <laughs> uh, this is the Manchester one, but I believe scenes were the same across the country. And that's um, no diss on Primark, it's that no. there was a mile long queue. <sighs> yeah. Whether it were it's... Boots, Primark, H&M, wherever. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, not, just it's a, not a question of that, is it? Yeah, you're right, absolutely. I don't know, it's it's six of one half a dozen of the other love because on the one hand, part of me is like, I know collectively that we need this, or at least some... Yes, I'm yes, not going to yes. say concession, but, you know, some change, just for the country's collective mental health, and I'm sure it's the same worldwide. On the second, I'm like, I thought it was supposed to be phased. It doesn't seem to be phased. It just seems to have been Monday morning, bang, we're in. Yeah, and everything's yeah. open, but so I don't really understand. I feel you. You know, um, and of I'm, course, you know. Sorry, go on. No, I was just gonna say I'm gonna have to go for a restart soon. That's all right, love. I'm just gonna put this down the loo anyway. 
You know, no, because those maybe... two things are related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be well, we'll stop now if you want. Because that's just... We're stopping and then we're coming back. Wait there with more You'll see. You'll all see. We're back. Yeah. We're back. Oh, we've. Uh, uh. We've been genies in a bottle. Got to rub us the right way. Oh, I just love that song. Me and all. I'm you know, a she genie in right a bottle. You gotta rub me the right way. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll have a whole oh, new set yeah. when the world's back to normal and we can start singing live again. That's what we were talking you about, were weren't we? We were just what? finishing off the... So I'm not massively eager about getting back out there into the whole wide world yet. Once I've had my second vaccine in June, I might feel very different. But mm. right now, I'm like, no, I'm all right. I think, yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, I think that it's... One respect it's good because I think psychologically it's different, isn't it? Between choosing not to but knowing you can and not being able to is two different things, isn't it? So I think that is yeah. a distinction. So I think there is a, a sense of ease even more because now I feel like even though I'm not going to, if I wanted to butt shot, I could. Yes. Yeah. You know, so I that mean. is helping me a bit. That's helping me a bit. As is the plethora of good telly what's coming up. Oh, what? I'm like excited, what? Love. Sewing bees back, love. Oh, you love a bit of that, you, don't you? I bloody love sewing bee, which is ironic because I can't down a sock. I can't down a sock. Well, aren't you? Possibly. Didn't you say you were going to look into learning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've priced up, been pricing up sewing machines. See, so you focus on that, weeks. and I'll focus on mm. wigs, and then we've got everything covered. Exactly. Betwixt us, next time you see us, you'll think we're due a leaper. <laughs> I got new rules, I'll count them. Run out of fingers. Um, but yeah, that's on. Glow Up, which is like the makeup series, you oh, know, where yes, people I've do like special this. effects. I've heard about this, that's yeah. That's back in a week or so. And last night, with lovely Catherine Ryan, I love a reality show, me love. You know, at the end of the day, I like something gentle uh, sometimes. I watch big hard stuff earlier in the day. Uh, hard stuff. <laughs> Um, a, a show called Britain's Next Jewelry Star. It's jewelry makers. Oh, people what make and made things. You're you're the, you're right into all these creative shows, aren't you? I know, and I don't do anything with it. <laughs> well, look, you don't have to. It's just about enjoying something to watch, isn't it? I'm just eager to That's watch true. the uh, finale of Master Chef. Now I know it's not vegan. But, you know, you can get very inspired by watching shows like MasterChef to veganise awesome. dishes and get ideas for yeah. sauces or veg mixes or anything, you know. Yeah. And uh, the um, because of the significant British death, um, you know, uh, it was cancelled last Friday. And it's, so mm. it's on tonight instead. Oh, it's on tonight, is it? I've yeah. Been so I'm excited to. Well, tonight, Wednesday, as we're filming this, it won't be up till Thursday. So sorry, you've missed it. No, you just catch it on BBC iPlayer. But um, yeah, I always enjoy it. I did. I like. I do like food shows, which is funny because I watch more foodie related stuff on YouTube than anything else. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell of a lot of foodie yeah. stuff. I love it. I love. Uh, mm. I love food. I love. Uh, getting inspired you know to to try something new love it just love it's it it's nice i love a, i love a youtube of an evening after my programs finished i like watching makeup clear outs you know when people are going through their old bits that they want to get rid of and donate and stuff i love that and i love books obviously as well because i live with stuart don't i yeah I love banging on about books but it's nice do you know what i think it is as well i think it's something to do with the fact that we're a youtube video it's like it's a real person so it's it's kind of it will have just happened or whatever but with all uncertainty in world it's like it's finite in it do you know what i mean it's just a nice experience there's no real peril <laughs> and you can just focus on being interested in what they're doing yeah i like unboxings and stuff for stuff like that wish unboxings or wish clothing hauls and you know stuff like that i love stuff i just yeah. love stuff in general i like stuff mate i'm, I'm, a, I'm a working class lass <laughs> i love stuff i love looking at things going i could buy that i won't but i could you know what else have we got to talk about, love? 
Um, don't know what else has gone on. Um, oh, they had that thing with Pretty Patel, didn't they? There's a contradiction in terms. Um, you know, with that bloody her itemised spending, where it came out that she'd spent like 77 grand having her eyebrows done or something like that, and now she's denying it. Did you not see it? No. Right, well, there's a list of stuff. There's clothing, all basically all stuff what she shouldn't be claiming, which she's kind of going, oh, it's a mistake, it was for this, it was for that, but we don't know. Um, you know, proving herself once again to not only be incompetent, but also essentially a thief. Allegedly. So we don't get sued. Allegedly. Um, you know, the government, the problem is with this shower in government now is and I am blaming Keir Starmer a lot for this as well, is that there is, at the moment, no viable opposition that a lot of people will vote for. He's too busy trying to be liked by everybody, Keir Starmer, instead yeah. of focusing on the core principles of the Labour Party. Exactly. I mean, he went to that homophobic church, didn't he, the other day? Who'd still do conversion therapy stuff. He's a moron. And then, he's, he's an absolute moron, and then said, oh, I didn't know, I'm like, but it's your job to know. Too many middle-aged white men still in positions of power all over the world. Here, America. All over the world. All, just all over the world. And it's, uh, this is why we, you know, there's that theory about um, the human race gets to a certain point and then it wipes itself out and then it starts again from the Stone Age because there's nothing left. Yeah. And the stories are made up and, you know, and we end up with a new version of the Bible or what, whatever. It, and it's a cyclical thing that's been going for millions of years. It's, I believe in that theory more and more and more, my asthma, because we don't seem to be evolving. No. And you have to evolve. You have to not get too comfortable in your point of evolution, but always be looking at how you should more evolve your thinking, mm -hmm. your actions, your consumptions, your purchases, how can you evolve, how can you do them better to not serve your mm. just yourself now, but the future mm -hmm. of everything. Yeah. The planet, the animals, the your kids. Yeah. yeah. Um, what is it Paul says? We've got to learn to plant trees, something about that. Oh it's a um, lovely phrase. Learn to plant trees you know you'll never sit under. It's not his saying, it's a famous saying out there, I don't know where it's uh, oh, right. uh, attributed to. Um, but it, it's very, it's one of those powerful, this is the thing about words, isn't it? You, you get a group of words together and suddenly their power, individually they're just words, but their power when grouped together to, uh, to share something meaningful that gets to people mm -hmm. that's what that's why people like Maya Angelou are you know mm -hmm. up there when someone show, shows you who they are believe them so simple so powerful so powerful mm -hmm. you know it's true yeah absolutely love absolutely words 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 may we all find the words they don't come easy to me she no. says, <clears throat> that, that's a song so from the 80s. The Words don't come easy to me. How yeah. can I find a way to make you see I love you? Words don't come easy. Be a few focal. Remember that one out there. There you go. It there was a you lovely go. song. You got free entertainment. Lovely song in its day, you know. Yeah. Anyway, Lovely my asthma, should we get on with our day, my darling? Best dad, I need to have a wee and got laundry out. And do us bits, I know, and I've got some smalls to rinse through. I mean, I'm, I'm not really that bothered, it's just that Darren's doing his garden down road and I like him watching me put my smalls out. He's gay. <laughs> I can fantasise, though. Don't matter. <laughs> Don't even matter. It's not like he's covered in my panties, you know. Well, you never um, know, you know, people are nuanced. So, a nod to Prince Philip about to Nicky Graham. A hug. Lovely. For all of you out there, for joining us, listening to us chat, being there for us, supporting us, 
sharing your nuggets of wisdom with us. And buying our merch. Yeah, buy our merch. We've got a merch link down there. Buy it. Buy it, please. Otherwise, it's just Stuart sat on his channel wearing Vegan Queen's merch and he loves it, but he wants you to join him. Why didn't you? What was it my husband said a few weeks ago? Why don't you want me on your boobs? Who wouldn't? <laughs> or on your phone? Or on your shoulder? There Could you, you go. arrange a tote bags and various apparel? Support our lack of work at the moment. Buy our merch. Become a patron. Send us a donation on PayPal. Or just watch, like, comment and share. And subscribe. That's so good. We'd love all of that. All of those mm. things. Right, my asthma, I adore you, my beauty. I love uh, you, Mum. I'm loving your hair. Don't let that slag you Nancy know. next door get all jealous and try copying you. And if she does... There's ball bats under the stairs. So it's been lovely, everybody. Thank you so much for watching us uh, and, you know, sharing our lovely lives. Any any final words, Miasma? Um, no. <laughs> Just lots of love and stay safe. If you are going out, be safe still. Don't get daft. She's not wrong. We'll see you again in a fortnight, my loves. Uh, until then, you know, um, look out for yourselves, won't you? Check out the things we've linked. We love you loads, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye, my darlings. <laughs>